Hi guys, back again with uh, another video. Uh, this time I'm going to do some beard basics um, revolving around beard products. So in my last video I talked about um, little bits of kit that you should have, you know, things like combs and brushes and things like, you know, the basics that you needed. Uh, this video I'm going to really talk about beard products. And you might be asking yourself the question, do I need beard products? And the answer is no, you, you don't need them. Um, do they make your beard look better and you know do they make your beard look cool and awesome and feel nice and smell nice and make your beard really like you know soft and silky hell yeah they do so in that respect you, you know why not use them you know I know people who say they will never touch a beard product that they won't go near oil they won't waste money on it and it's like well that's fair enough but I view it in the same way as in do we need shampoo? Do we need toothpaste? Do we need shower gel? No, we don't need any of those things. Do those things make us look more presentable and nice and feel good about ourselves and smell good? Hell yeah, they do. So why not have the same opinion about beard products? That's my little rant on that. Um, so yeah, the other thing that I would say about beard products is I'm in the UK and I watch a lot of videos online um, and it's mostly American guys talking about uh, beard brands in the States that sound really really good and sound like stuff that I would love so you've got people like Artius Man and Spartans Dan and Honest Amish and we just don't have access to that kind of you know those beard products the range that the Americans seem to have um, our beard product industry seems to be maybe two or three years behind America. We are getting better, um, but at the moment, the only place you can really buy beard products that I've discovered is in the local high street chemists and pharmacies. Um, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't know if I can get sued if I start mentioning you know people's names on the internet. So I'm going to steer clear of that. Uh, but yeah, in the UK, if you want to get some beard products, you have to go to one of the high street pharmacies. Um, and anyone who's done that knows that the range is really shit. It's really small. Uh, there's only a couple of brands, really. And also, they're really, really expensive. And the warning that I would give straight away is if you're just starting out growing a beard and you don't know much about you know the industry, um, learn a lesson here because when I first started out I didn't know anything about beard oils and beard balms and I just went into a chemist one day while I was growing my beard I saw that they had this like range of stuff for beards and I thought well, maybe I should get some of this uh, saw the price for well that looks a little bit high but obviously that's the price I'm willing I guess I should pay that price um, so I got drawn in so I bought quite a few of these products thinking you know I'm doing a good job here as I've gone on and gotten more developed in growing my beard um, I've started researching a lot more I've started looking at videos on YouTube and learning how to take care of my beard and look after it properly I've discovered that yeah the, the range is rubbish and it's really 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 expensive so my advice to you is if you're in the UK don't go to the high street pharmacy or chemists to buy your beer products my advice would be to go basically start off on Amazon Amazon are really good um, you can put in like you know a price range that you're willing to pay for a product uh, you get to see reviews of what people think you know they've got such a really good range of products on Amazon as well uh, you can get the stuff from America like Honest Amish and Artius Man on Amazon but like it's really cost prohibitive it's just like the amount of money it would cost to ship over I don't think it's worth it so I've never really invested um, Etsy as well I find quite a few good um, beard oils and things like that on Etsy um, so that's just a little bit of advice going into buying your product stay away from the high street get your stuff online Amazon like start there that's that's my basic advice so products themselves let's start with that first of all you're gonna need yourself a good beard oil so beard oil is like your basic everyone should have it and beard oil from kind of like the first week onwards of your beard growth you can start using oil and you might think that's a bit weird but why I'm suggesting that is after a week of growth you normally have like the bristly kind of 
it's coarse, it's rough, it's bristly. If you have a significant other, they don't particularly like kissing you because it's rough on their skin. Um, so the reason why I'm suggesting that you start using beard oil quite early on is the beard oil will actually, as well as nourishing your skin, it will soften the, the hair growth, even at that length, like that short length. So the bristliness and the coarseness, it'll help with that. It won't make it perfectly soft and you know smooth, but it'll help, it really will. And it's good practice. It's good to get into that practice early on because you wanna get yourself a good routine every day and you're gonna be doing it every day. So you wanna get used to it early on. The other thing I would say about oil is primarily what you probably don't realize is beard oil is for your skin more so than your beard, which sounds really weird, but it's not. When you think about it, the skin underneath your beard, it's it's quite neglected. You know, it's not getting the attention that it deserves. Underneath your beard, your skin, it's getting dried out. It's not in good condition. Um, <clears throat> your beard's actually your enemy in some ways because it's sucking out all the oils from, like the hair follicles are just sucking up all the oils from your skin. So uh, it's not getting like the sunshine, you know, you're basically covering up the skin. So you're not looking after it. So beard oil is essentially to help replenish the oils in your skin. So I've seen people online and they recommend when they're doing their beard routine, they put some oil in their hands and they just kind of give it a bit of this and they say, yep, there you go. Perfect. Done. Um, my advice would be if you're, um, putting beard oil in, especially if you've got quite a dense, thick beard like I have, you've really got to kind of work it underneath the hair. So get right in and into the skin because that's primarily what it's for. One of the great things about beard oil is the side effects are it makes your beard look good and it makes your beard smell good. And you know, it's a win, win, win there. But remember that it's not just for your beard, it's for your skin. So give your skin a bit of love, give it a rub, you know get right in, right under, and the underbeard as well. Never forget that underneath, I don't know if it shows up very well here, a lot of people neglect this bit of the beard. So they just focus on the front that you can see. I would recommend always giving some attention to the underneath of your beard. So get right under, get to the skin, get your oil in, then yeah, as a byproduct, it's gonna make your beard look good, feel good, smell good. But definitely don't go with these guys who are just like, put some beard oil and whack it on your beard and that's done. Uh, really get in there. Don't be afraid, you know, to rub it into your skin. Um, also the thing I would say is there's a lot of contradictory advice on the internet about how much oil you should be using. Um, a lot of people say use minimal amount, so a couple of drops at most. Um, other people are saying use like eight to 10 drops. So for an example, I'm gonna show you here. This is a, a bottle, a dropper bottle. These are quite good. Um, so a lot of people, I hope you can see that. To a lot of people on the internet, that's heresy. That would be like, you cannot use that much oil on your beard. Me personally, again, cause my beard is, I mean, it's dependent on your beard and on your personal preference. Um, for me personally, because my beard is so thick and so dense, um, that to me is a reasonable amount of beard oils. That is kind of like the kind of amount of beard oil that I would use. And I'm gonna just give you an example. So that's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten plus drops for me. I'm happy to go with that. So you put it in your hand, give it a rub, distribute it. And like I say, really kind of get in, rub it into the skin, get under. Give it a bit of that. And the thing is about beard products that, you know, it's not a bad thing that you're using beard products. It's not, it's 2019 guys, you know, we should be able to, you know, look after ourselves properly and make ourselves look nice. Me personally, I like touching my beard. I touch it kind of through the day, it's a comfort thing. So if I've got a beard that feels nice and soft and silky and smooth, it's a lot better than if it was rough and wiry and got tangles and stuff in it. 
So there's no, there's nothing wrong with looking after yourself, as far as I'm concerned. So there you go. That's my beard oil done. Obviously at this stage, I would probably use a kent comb or a brush to just kind of work the oil through to make sure that all the hair is covered evenly. If you've got any oil left over in your hands, just rub it in wherever you want really, because the oil that comes in beard oil, they're normally quite good oils that, for anything, for your skin, um, stick it for your hair if you want. It's, I mean, it, they're, they're good stuff. It's like, um, and that's another thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a whole video about beard oil because it's quite easy to make yourself. And I'm gonna talk about how you can get really cheap beard oil and you can get really expensive beard oil. And ultimately when you break it down, they're, they contain the exact same things. So there's a huge debate online that I've noticed recently where um, one specific company is being slated because they charge a ridiculous amount of money. Again, I'm not gonna mention names because I'm worried about legal repercussions. Um, but yeah, they charge a ridiculous amount of money for their products, uh, claiming that they're premium. And um, when you break them down, like a 20, 30 bottle of beer, 20, 30 pound bottle of beer oil, has the exact same ingredients as a five pound bottle of beard oil. So there is like a huge range of price. You could spend vast amounts of money on beard products. And I wanna do a video about beard oil because I've started making my own. This is my own that I've made. I don't know if you can see that, but no. Um, minty orange is what I've gone for there. The good thing about making your own beard oil is it's cost effective. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. You know exactly what's going into it. And also um, you can play around and get make it the way you want it to be rather than having a product that's kind of like you have to accept because that's the product. With a beer, with making your, your own beard oil, putting essential oils in, you can put in pretty much anything you want. So you can have any scents that you want. This one I've got is minty orange. I like mint, it's fresh peppermint and sweet orange oil and it just smells nice and fresh and I like it. And when you're making your own beard oils, you can play around and, you know, find scents that you like and you, that may not be on the market, you know. So th there are a lot of advantages to making your own beard oil. And like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video on that um, eventually. Um, so that's beard oil pretty much covered. Again, I'll go back to the point that when it comes to beard oil, all it has in it is, it's gonna have some carrier oils, things called carrier oils, and they're normally, they're all pretty much standards throughout the beard oil world. You've got things like jojoba oil, um, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, uh, vitamin E, uh, coconut oil, and that's the base of pretty much every beard oil that you can get. And then they mostly contain essential oils that will give you the scent so the, you know the nice fresh smell or whatever kind of smell you want you can get anything you know i've got all sorts of stuff um so yeah don't spend too much money on beard oil because like i say a five pound bottle of beard oil in compared to a 50 pound bottle of beard oil it's not going to be much different in terms of its basic ingredients so that's my second piece of advice in terms of buying products um, and I'm a tight arse, so I know that I w if I can spend less on something, I'm gonna do it. And if it's still gonna do the same job, why wouldn't I spend less? So I'm passing that on to you, hopefully that helps. So we've covered beard oil. Beard oil is kind of like your go-to basic. This is what everyone should have if you're getting into growing a beard. You could get away with not having anything else. Beard oil could be just, that, that's fine. It'll work, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. You may need to reapply it, you know, two, three times a day. Um, but you could quite happily just carry on just using beard oil and not have to worry about any other product. Um, but I am gonna cover some other products which I think will help even more. So the other basic product when you're dealing with beards is beard balm. Now, beard balm is an interesting one because it's very similar to beard oil, ultimately. Very similar ingredients. But you'll find that most beard balms, they contain um, beeswax as well as the other essential oils and the carrier oils that you get in beard oil. So beard oil, 
it's kind of like a thinner you know layer that you're putting into your beard um, which ultimately leads to a weaker hold so if you're looking to try and style your beard or get it into a certain shape or form and keep it you know keep with give it some hold into wh whatever shape you want to get it beard oil is probably not going to do that for you if you get like a decent length like I've got so beard balm that's where you're looking at beard balm is essentially it's like hair wax for your hair but for your beard if you're going to be styling your beard putting it into a certain like you know you want to keep it held in a certain shape all day that's essentially what beard balm is it's like beard oil but it's got slightly better um, properties for styling and hold in your beard um, also uh, another beard product I use quite often is it's a beard moisturizer so um, I don't know if you can see can't really see that one very well and um, this is from a company called Murdoch in London fine grooming and um, they're really really good uh, this moisturizer I love it it's brilliant it smells really good it's got loads of good stuff in there like aloe vera menthol you know and it's what beard moisturizer is it's almost like um, conditioner for your hair so you put it into your beard just to soften it and uh, keep it under control and manageable and it also smells good so I'd use that maybe once or twice uh, well maybe three four times a week I don't know depends what I'm doing really um, but yeah it's not essential but again it's something nice it smells good that one's quite expensive you can get cheaper beard moisturizers again Amazon's your, your, your place to go for that the other thing I would recommend is if you are intending to blow dry your beard on a regular basis I have this stuff it's an argan oil based um, heat defense spray so it's primarily for your hair but you can use it in your beard as well there's no problem with that essentially all you do there is you spray it in work it for your beard and then argan oil is really good anyway because it's very nourishing it's very good for conditioning your beard it's a really good oil to have and it will protect your hair while you're blow drying it now i blow dry my beards every day and there are people online who will say if you blow dry your beard every day you're the devil <laughs> and all i can say to that is it works for me you know i blow dry my if i didn't blow dry my beard every day it would be a mess it would just be like whew. I'd like to do before and after at some point maybe do a video where I do my actual morning routine and you'll see you'll just see the difference in how my beard looks if I don't blow dry it to if I do blow dry it and I'm not recommending that you blow dry your beard every day what I would recommend is if it works for you fine do it as long as you've got something like this like a heat defense spray you're not going to damage your hair too much i mean i've been doing it for years and like my beard's still in pretty decent neck nothing serious has ever happened to it i've never had to have you know any kind of treatment or you know, it, it just works for me i like blow drying my beard it's part of my routine i do it every day um other than that with beard products i, I wouldn't go much further if i'm honest um you can get things like beard washes and stuff like that but I don't bother you know I just generally when I'm shampooing my hair I'll kind of use the same shampoo I, I do try and look for kind of hair nourishing shampoos so shampoos that contain argan oil because like I say argan oil is a really good oil to have it's really good really 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 good I recommend argan oil um, so yeah generally I just use normal hair shampoo work it in while I'm washing my hair same with conditioner I'd use just normal hair conditioner um, but yeah there are beard washes out there that you know say that they're specifically for beards I've used some I you know I don't see there's much difference if I'm honest um, but yeah try it if you want that's the thing you've got to find out what works for you ultimately and, and go with that um, the only other thing I would say is there are a lot of companies out there that advertise beard soap which is like an actual bar of soap that you can get that's specifically for your beard it, it, that's lies don't don't use beard soap I've, I've, I've fallen into that trap so my advice to you there is never use beard soap because I don't know if you notice but if you ever use like soap 
in itself to wash yourself while you're in the shower it, it tends to dry out your skin really quickly it dries it's really drying like demoisturizing and that's the last thing you want to do to your beard and that's exactly what happens when you use beard soap so essentially when you're washing your beard you are kind of washing out all the oils and stuff like that which is why you're, you're using beard oil and beard balm to replenish those oils that you're washing out beard soap tends to just dry your beard out completely it's horrible it makes it feel gritty and dry and I, I, I wouldn't recommend it give it a go if you want I don't know maybe some people's beards react differently um, but yeah as far as, as products go that's it for me um, I, w I wouldn't go much further you know um, that's my advice so like I said I'm gonna do some videos I haven't attempted yet to make my own beard balm but I am gonna do that one day because it looks relatively easy as well and it will save a lot of money uh, I'm gonna do a video about making beard oil so you save yourself a lot of money in that respect uh, and yeah I'm gonna leave it there for today guys I've waffled on a lot but hopefully I've imparted quite a lot of good information to you um, also I'll just point out that a lot of people recommend again it's contradictory information people will say to you do not wash your beard every day um, other people will say wash your beard maybe once or twice a week um, other people will say just wash it whenever you want um, so it does leave you quite confused as to whether what, what's right what's wrong I don't know me personally I wash it every day because why wouldn't you wash it every day um, I don't want to be kept walking around with last night's spaghetti bolognese like stinking up my beard you know it happens when you get a beard this long it gets dirty it gets messy you know you need to wash it I, I, I don't see why you wouldn't do that because otherwise it's going to be dirty a lot of people say when you're washing your beard just use conditioner I think they call it co-washing you'll hear that a lot you just put conditioner in it you don't shampoo and you would leave a little bit of conditioner in afterwards just to keep it kind of in good condition and maintained I, again I don't see why you wouldn't just wash your beard as long as you've got a good beard routine where you are replenishing the oils and you are looking after it and you're moisturizing it and you're doing all the proper things I honestly don't see a problem with washing your beard every day again it's personal choice it's up to you like I say there's lots of contradictory information online the only advice I'll give to the beard grower out there is do what works for you forget the rest and just do it you know and that's all I can say and that's my uh, I've gone on for far too long but like I say hopefully I've imparted some some good knowledge to you um, so yeah my next video is probably going to be about my morning routine and showing you exactly how I deal with um, my beard because when you wake up in the morning it's it can be quite hairy literally <laughs> uh, so I'll leave it there for now guys um, yeah keep on bearding <laughs>